Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Furious FV, HDMI and DVR modules for the docking. These modules are available separately so of course you don't have to buy them together. Inside the bag of the HDMI module we're getting the module along with four screws, two longer ones and two shorter ones and two spacers. So if you'd like you can just use the HDMI module on top of the docking and if you're going to use the DVR module it's going to be placed on top of it. Along with the DVR, we're getting four mounting screws and also this very short instructions manual. The DVR itself is being controlled by the docking, so we cannot find any buttons on the DVR module itself. All we can find is an LED status that tells you if the DVR module is on and also if it's recording. And over here we can find a micro SD card slot that supports up to 64 GB micro SD cards. If you're going to mount only the DVR module on top of the docking, all you have to do is just to place it like that and use the provided screws and you're going to need to use these connectors that connect to the DVR and to the HDMI. Make sure not to mix them. So the DVR module connects over here and the HDMI module connects over here. If you're going to use both models, you're going to first place the DVR module over here, then place the HDMI module on top of it. And then you're going to need to use the longer screws along with the spacers in order to mount both models in their place. So now I've got both DVR and HDMI modules mounted on the docking and I also placed a micro SD card inside the DVR module. On the HDMI itself we don't have any LED indicator that tells you that it's on but after connecting an HDMI cable it's going to work and shortly I'm going to show you how it works. First let's start with the DVR model. In order to configure it you're going to need to go to the settings menu of the docking and then under auto DVR you have two options. You can set the DVR to off or to on. If it's going to be set to off, you're going to control the recording of the DVR manually and if it's going to be set to on, it's going to start the recording whenever it has a signal and it's going to stop it when the signal is lost. So let's first set it to off and then in order to start the recording, you will need to exit the menu and then long press the docking button for 3 seconds until you hear this beep, which indicates that now the DVR is recording and also the LED status is flashing. If you want to stop the recording, you will need to hit exit again and then long press this button again for 3 seconds until you hear this beep and now you can see that the LED is solid which means that the recording has been stopped. Now let's set it to auto and now let's connect a quadcopter. This is on the same frequency that the docking is set to, 5860. So you can see that now it found a signal and now the LED on the DVR module is flashing which means it's recording and after disconnecting the quadcopter you can see that now it's going to stop flashing and now the recording was stopped. Now by the way, if you're going to disconnect the power from the docking while it's recording, unfortunately the file is not going to be saved and it's going to be lost and also it's going to record a new file every 10 minutes. In addition, this is just a recording module so you won't be able to play back the video that you record and the video is recorded on the VGA which is 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second. Now let's connect the HDMI module. By the way, it is using the full-sized connector. So we can connect it. And as you can see, now it shows on the screen no signal. So this screen is using the AV out and this one is using the HDMI connector. Now let's connect a quadcopter and see how it looks. So you can see that it takes a little bit longer for the image to appear on the screen that is using the HDMI and I think that there is also some difference in terms of image. I think that there is also a little bit more lag on the HDMI connector but now I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to place the quadcopter here and record a video using my phone at 240 frames per second. These screens are identical so the only difference is the connector that they're using. So now let's check the results. You can see that this video is split into single frames and every frame is 4 milliseconds. At this point, the screen that is using the AV out is completely dark, whereas the screen that is using the HDMI connector is a little bit behind. After counting the frames, I found that it took 10 frames for the video to go completely dark on the screen that is using the HDMI connector, which means that the screen that is using the HDMI connector is about 40 milliseconds behind the screen that is using the AV connector. So I need to take this fact into consideration when using the HDMI model, but anyway I think that the purpose of the HDMI model is not for using it for direct FPV flying and more to share the flight experience on the big screen, for example on a racing event. 
but I do think that the video looks a little bit better when using the HDMI out than the AV out and in the end of this video I'm going to show you a comparison video that compares both options. Regarding the DVR module, I think that this is a very useful add-on and you should definitely consider getting one if you already have the docking. The auto record feature is great and it's going to make your life really easy and it's really important to back up your flight footage especially if you lost your quadcopter because it might help you find it. In addition, it's really easy to access the micro SD card and the DVR module itself integrates very well with the docking. Now because this DVR module doesn't have any playback option, I recommend to get one of these OTG card readers that will enable you to play back the recorded video on your smartphone device. So now I'm going to show the comparison video that compares both HDMI and AV out options. What I did is to place my quadcopter in front of my computer and I recorded the video on both screens. I know this is not a real field test comparison, so I am going to post another video that compares both HDMI and AV out options when I'm going to head out to the field. And I'm also going to compare the video that is going to be recorded with the DVR model and the one that is going to be recorded on my Fetcher DVR model. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about these products, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.